welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Jute Life favourites for you guys. Oh hell no, I can't believe it's that time of the month again, girl. So if you guys like this look, I've just filmed this for Instagram and it's going to be a whole Instagram video. So if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you follow me on Instagram and all my other social media platforms. They're all linked down below. Make sure you subscribe as well. And if you guys want to see what my favourites were for this month, please keep watching. Okay, jokey guys. So I've got a bit of everything in this video. I've got skincare, fashion, makeup, some goodies, shebang, shebang. So I'm going to start off with skincare first because, guys, let me tell you guys, this month I have been struggling so bad with my skin. And I was like, what the hell is happening to me? Spots and clogged pores silly silly in my skin girl it was like every single time i come at the shower i'll look in the mirror i'll be like where's all these bumps coming from like i put my foundation on and certain lighting my skin will look so bumpy like, i don't really get those big mahoosie spots anymore but i get so much clogged pores because my skin is so goddamn oily bitch i'm not even gonna lie it's fucking my fault because when i get in the shower i turn on all these lights bitch and i turn into this mirror and i'm like looking in the freaking mirror and i'm like pick 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 you and your mother, I'm picking you. Especially like in the middle of my eyebrows and all my chin. It's really hard to get those really deep in their eggs. Oh, I can't tell you how frustrating it is. And especially when you're like, I can see you in there. I see you, bitch. And the little head like, wanna get me? Wanna get me now, bitch? <laughs> Hides back in there. And I'm just like trying to get at it. So I've just scarred up my skin so bad. So if you guys have any solution for acne scars or any treatments I should do, I think I'm going to do microneedling to try to help me get rid of all this scarring. That is a little story in my skin what's happened this month so I've got a few products that I've been really really loving I think I featured some of these products before in my other favorites video or in my other videos so excuse me if I'm repeating myself but this month if anything I've been like oh girl you come with me <laughs> coming out of the cabinets okay so i'm just gonna bunch like, all three products into one because i'm not gonna go through them that much because i know i have featured them on my channel before so check out my other videos girl you gotta make you stay on my channel a bit longer <laughs> you know what I'm so three products that's been really helping me and my skin and help heal up all the wounds and stuff like that are these three products i'm gonna quickly run through them this is the centella cos rx cream this is freaking amazing guys look look how much you girls use this shit half of it is used up i've just got like a little cluster there and i'm holding off a dear life guys because it's so goddamn good it helps with acne scarring and it also is really good for when i just picked the spot when i put it on top it kind of stings a little bit so i like that feeling you know it makes me feel like it's working it's almost like an amped up version of pseudo creme you guys know i love me some pseudo cream i'm always on snapchat with this white cream all over my face and it's always pseudo creme look how big this fucking tub is. i've used half of it already it's really big in the uk but i think like worldwide you can't really find it so i have found a lot of people buy this from amazon as well so check on amazon if you guys haven't this is an antiseptic healing cream so it's actually meant to be for nappy rashes and baby's assholes but you know this will be good enough for my face <laughs> it's good enough for baby's ass it's good enough for my face it helps with nappy rash eczema surface wounds sunburn acne minor burn it just helps with everything so any single time i have a cut on my skin if i get sunburned my skin's irritated in any way shape or how this is your girl when i just freshly picked this one i'm like mm, pseudo cream will help that mm. i can't of leave it on like a thick layer so i don't rub it in or anything i literally leave it on so it's like thick globby glob and then when i wake up in the morning the wound is like healed up and then also i love my ofra drying lotion you guys can see it's beat up and i think i've kind of got only a little bit left so i'm using it very very tightly right now but this is amazing guys so good for any big blemishes like these two i find doesn't really work for big spots they're more for like if you just pick the spot whereas this one if i've got any bumps on my forehead if i've got a spot or anything like that i put this on and it dries overnight and then the next morning the spot has gone down significantly so yeah this is the good good that free trio right there next skincare favorites is sheet mask and i am not fussy when it comes to sheet masks i'll honestly use anything i feel like all the sheet masks kind of are the same they're kind of a sheet soaked in serum and there's always different types so there's some for brightening some for acne most of them are for like moisturizing benefits so i've been loving the face ink face masks they sent me quite a few of them and they're really cool for like instagram videos as well because they have like really cool designs in them so this one's like a unicorn they have like a gold one they do like a rainbow one there's loads of different types so if you guys haven't checked out nails ink they also do skincare now so it's called face ink and i saw them in selfages they have like a whole stack 
stand full of them. So you can go on their website, I'll link it down below. And then the last skincare product I've been really loving is this Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Cleansing Oil. This is so good for taking off my makeup. I use this every single night. I use a eye makeup remover, which is this one I've been loving from Vichy. It's like a dual phase eye makeup remover and you shake it up. This one and the La Roche-Posay one is really good because it doesn't leave like an oily residue. And I always use one that you shake up because I wear so much eye makeup so I need something to help take it all off, you know. I don't want to be sitting there for 30 minutes rubbing my eyes, bitch. Ain't nobody got no time for that hoe. So I use this with a cotton pad first to wipe off any liquid lipsticks or any eye makeup. And then I'll go in with this on my skin. So I use it dry first on my skin and then you have to activate it with water. So put your hands inside the tap and make your hands a bit wet and then go on top of it. And then I use like a Clarisonic or my spin brush by Vanity Planet and I just close that motherfucker oh bitch mm, and it takes off all my makeup so yeah if you guys haven't tried this on kills so the next one I've been really loving is so random. It's from Nails Inc. And it is called Express Nail Polish Remover. Oh, girl. Let me freaking tell you the struggle. I freaking hate taking off my nail polish, guys. Because I find it takes so long. I don't like to use pure acetone to take off my nail polish. Because it makes my hands like dry AF. Like I'm old grandma hands. Ain't nobody got no time for that, girl. I'm only 25. Ain't nobody want to be a grandma up in here. So this is acetone free, but let me tell you how quick it is to take off your nail polish. You know what? I'm just going to do a live demonstration. So I hate getting gel on my nails because I love changing out my nail polish colour. So what I really like about it is you don't need no cotton pads. It literally has like a sponge in here and you just literally dip your finger in. So you see nail polish? Like I do like two full twists. Okay, there's a little bit on the side, but look. You see that? So if I just twist again, because my fingers are so curved. Look. That's like three twists and it just takes all the nail polish so goddamn quick. I don't like wasting my cotton pads, especially when I take off toe polish. Like even sometimes I try to dip my toes inside here. <laughs> try to get those little stubby piglets in there. <laughs> they actually work in there sometimes <laughs> if I forget extend my toe long enough. So guys, I've been absolutely loving this eyelash glue. This is a, the Huda Beauty eyelash glue and whenever I see tubes like this, I always roll my eyes like, bitch, I hate duo eye lash glue okay i know when i used to work for mac everyone used to say duo is the best glue ever rah, 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 rah. i thought it was the shittest glue ever of life like if your eyes water a little bit ping your fucking eyelash will be flying off in the wind i decided to give this one a go one day because my house of lashes black eyelash glue is dry af i used to use that one all the time and i loved it so much but now it's so dry it doesn't even work anymore it's so gloopy now so i actually really like the fact that this is in the tube you can basically squeeze it all out it's actually made in korea as well what i like about this is that it's just like a gray and then when it dries it goes to like a darkish black color so that's when you know your eyelash is ready to stick on when it goes to that color whereas when i was using the black eyelash glue from house of lashes it was just always black i never knew if the fucking glue was dry or not so i really like this one and it lasts for such a long time the eyes i find that my lashes stay on so well with it what i like about this as well i can literally peel off my lashes and it doesn't take off my natural lashes as well even though my natural lashes have about three hairs the struggle is real now Next up, I've been really loving this bronzer. This is called Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. This is a Amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer. Ugh, I don't know about waterproof. This probably would be so good for like pale skin toes, but this is not a bronzer for me, guys. This is so good for nose contouring. So if you guys haven't seen my nose contouring video, I've done a whole video just on nose contouring. I was looking for a shade that's like in between all of those kind of shades, you know? But this is so good. Every single time I put it on my nose, it just snatches my nose. It just gives a soft shadow without it looking too grey or too warm. It's the perfect like medium shade. It almost looks like a darker face powder, which is what I like. It looks really natural on the nose. It's a good one, guys. And it's completely matte too. Next up this month, I have been loving the NYX Total Cover Drop Foundation. Ah! They are so good, guys. They come in so many shades. I've got sent the whole shade collection and I'm always doing like crazy highlight and contour videos because it just blends out so well. They are so pigmented. It's very similar to the concept of the Cover FX custom cover drops. Like when they first come out, everyone was like, oh, hyping it up and stuff. But let me show you my custom cover drops by Cover FX. Look how thick and clumpy this is. That's not good, guys. Like now, it's so thick now, I can't even like mix it into stuff. I literally had to scrape it out and it looks like a thick paste it's just gone bad guys i don't know what's wrong with it it's such 
good coverage but it's got all gloopy and I still have so much in here so this is like liquid guys it's literally so liquidy but it has so much pigment and I love the fact that it has like a really yellow undertone there's some that has pink undertones and some that have yellow I am the shade 11 and it's so affordable as well what I do is I layer this on top of other foundations I do wear it sometimes by itself but I find it doesn't control oil that well so I'll put something that's very oil controlling underneath like a very matte foundation and then I'll put this on top and this just kind of amplifies the coverage even more so it's amazing for if you've got any other foundations that doesn't give you a lot of coverage but you like the finish of it on the skin and if you want more coverage you just put a couple of these drops on top and it just gives you the most flawless skin girl especially when you're an oily bitch and spotty bitch like me so many finger clips my freaking fingers hurt okay guys so next up is two highlighters from jeffree star cosmetics they are in the shade siberian gold and king tut i actually don't use this on my face i actually use it on my body <laughs> The reason why I use it on my body is because the pan is so big. Look how much I've used it. This is Siberian Gold and I've actually hit pan in this. When I first got this product, I was so excited for this because I've always wanted to try Jeffree Star Cosmetics because their highlighters look amazing. But I do find that their consistency in all the colours are not consistent whatsoever. <laughs> like this one, when you swatch it with your hand, it looks amazing, right? It looks perfect and stuff. But when you put it on with a brush, it goes so bitsy. I can't even explain it. Like if you don't use a liquid underneath and you put this on straight dry by itself is like chunks of like pigment whereas the king tut is a lot smoother it's a different formula this one is still really really smooth so that's different this is king tut and siberian gold i actually thought that king tut would be really dark for me but it actually when i've got a tan it's really really nice so i use this on my legs and my shoulders and all that jazz so whenever you see my ootds on instagram and you see my legs are like super highlighted and super glossy i use this basically on top and I love the fact that it's just like a big pan apparently you get the same amount of products as any other highlighter but I love the fact that the pan is so big because I can fit my mahusive brush this is a Melanie Mills big powder brush look this is like perfect for this pan and I put it on my shoulders and I just literally like dust it all the way around honestly when I shoot outfit photos especially with flash my skin looks that JLo just kissed me girl okay guys so now we're gonna move on to the fashion favorites for the month and I have been loving these sunglasses they are so pretty every single time I have an outfit I don't know what I want to wear like sunglass wise these just go with everything but I'm just trying to clean them off for you guys because they got hella fingerprints girl <gasps> that should help it imagine if the glasses break because I've done that Okay guys, the fingerprints are not coming off, but you're just going to have to deal with it. This is from Key Australia, and it's called To Be Seen. So I really like the fact that it's shiny, so you can't see my eyes through it. It looks really like retro-ish. You know when you want to look like Instagram baddie cool? But my face is really fat and like round, so I struggle so much with like sunglasses fitting my face and stuff. I'll show you what it looks like on. You guys say like, I think it fits my face perfectly. Maybe my face is a little bit fat, but I still think I can get away with it. But I just love the fact that it has like these two kind of bars up here. It looks really retro, it looks really classic. It's not too big and oversized, which is why I really like it. But it's not too small where it looks like itty bitty, like you look a bit stupid, you know. But I think this will suit a lot of different face shapes. So if you guys are looking for some cool looking rose gold kind of pinky sunglasses, definitely look at 2B Scene Sunglasses by Key. Or Key Australia in general. Their sunglasses are just okay next up i've been really loving this this is like a big piece of shit right <laughs> it looks like a big hairy doo doo this doo doo is so good to put on top of my head it is so stupid and ridiculous now but i haven't got anything like this i've never seen anything like this before this is from hair rehab london and it's a clip-on bun so what it does it has like a, a little drawstring here and you pull it open so you can stretch this bun out to make it really really big i really love this for top knots as well do you know when you see like like chloe kardashian or they got these really big like top knots when i tie my hair into a top knot i've got about three hairs just sticking out like a pineapple and that ain't cute girls so what i do is i leave the rest of my hair down and i tie like a little bit of hair up here i put that into a little bun as well and then i put this on top of the bun and then i put the drawstring in so it's really, really tight so basically this hole's gone really really small and your bun is like held inside of it and then you just literally tuck this in and i just put it on top and i just kind of like move the hair around but it kind of looks like, you know like this like i can kind of get away with this right <laughs> 
It's really good for if you want your hair to look like a big bun. Do you know like if you have like really thinning hair and stuff when you put your hair in a bun, it's like, it's like a little cat fur ball on your head. And I also have two of these, so I really like them as like little space buns as well because then you can get it really nice and even and you can literally just pin the hair around and you can like ruffle them up a bit as well. So if you want it to be like a messy bun, you can do that as well. It looks a bit crazy like when it's just like this, but on your head it looks really, really natural. The only thing about Hair Rehab London is that it doesn't have a black colour. So this is like the darkest colour that it goes to. So this is like a dark brown, but you can kind of see that in certain lights it doesn't really suit my hair because my hair is black and I'm gonna dye it even blacker next week so I'm gonna have to use like a hairspray that's like a black color and just spray this so that it's not like as shiny and this is also synthetic as well so you have to make sure you use that like, hairspray or dry shampoo to kind of take down the shininess otherwise it looks really fake but yeah I've been loving this guys even my sister was like oh that bun is so cool honestly it looks amazing I'll put like photos of me wearing this bun up here so you guys can see what it looks like okay this is like a random favorite but I've been really loving these sweets it's from Candy Kitchen and it's like gourmet sweets and it's like gluten free I don't know it looks like kind of healthy sweets but these just taste so good guys every single flavour that I've tried from them I've tried this one is also really nice as well this is sweet peach and this one is wild strawberry I really like wild strawberry and the watermelon sour watermelon that was so good this looks like a vegan type of sweet right this is like some fancy candy <laughs> but it says all natural flavours it smells like so strong like full of flavour what I really like about them is that they're really chewy and they're sour as well Mmm. Oh my god. My mouth's watering. Oh my god, I can't chew fast enough. Still chewing, guys. So chewy. Okay. You guys see how chewy that shit was? That shit was chewy. It was good. It was good, good. <laughs> okay, the last favourite is a fashion favourite, and I have been loving platforms. You guys can either hate me or love me, but I love flat form. I am not a girl that wears heels. Like my older sister, she's like, I love wearing heels, it's so comfy. But I'm like, bitch, wear, <laughs> bitch, wear. I am such like a flat shoe type of gal. I hardly ever wear heels unless it's an event, but I always have to make sure I bring flat shoes in my bag. And if the bag doesn't fit no flat shoes, you ain't coming with me, girl. That's why I never really have clutches or anything because they don't fit my flat shoes. This is like the perfect combination of both because your foot is flat but it has a heel so when you take outfit photos your legs look so long because of this extra height and also when you're walking it still has a lot of stability as well it is a bit weird to start off with because you're kind of like walking on air kind of thing this is from public desire and this is so lightweight i can't tell you like it's super lightweight like when you look at this it looks like so heavy and bulky and stuff but it's literally like it's so light guys and it's basically like a, a lace up shoe details the only thing is this is quite hard to tie up so sometimes this is kind of like slipping down if you didn't tie it properly but around your ankle i just think it looks so cool like it just gives you so much support at the same time and it looks amazing in outfit photos so i'm going to link these ones down below i've also got this in white that's so cute and i also want them in black as well and then i've also been really loving this one this is like a kind of espadrille type situation this is in like a nudie taupey one but i've also got in black and i love the black one yeah i really love this guys it's so comfy so it's got a little bit of padding like right where the ball of your foot is so yeah, and this one's a bit easier to tie because it's like suede if you haven't tried flat forms definitely try them and they're so in at the moment so it's a perfect way if you've got like a barbecue especially they're so good for because you don't want to be walking around in like heels but these are like casual but still dressy at the same time okay guys so that's it for this july favorites i love filming july favorites i love watching them as well because i love seeing what people's favorites were for this month because it makes me dig through my jaws and i'm like mm, i got that too guys. i need to retry that shit <laughs> so if you guys like this video please make sure you give me a thumbs up click the subscribe button before you leave and also follow me on all my other social platforms it's just x Tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy the bloopers guys Ta -da! bye bye now <laughs> cream oh bear pass me pseudo cream more Stupid ass. I'll get it myself. Why are you still talking on Coco? I never hear him when he barks. Now you're gonna have stupid Coco in the back. I'm gonna have you in the background, mate. Yeah, I've got to edit myself in the bloopers. How about that? No one wants to hear you in the bloopers. And it doesn't rip up my eyelashes. Oh, girl, why are you not silent? Oh my god, 10 minutes, Grant. Mm, yeah, girl, I'm gonna roll. <coughs> <coughs> Bitch, are you dying back there? <coughs> Was that your throat or was that your asshole? Your face, mate.